YouTube, I'm El Wurfy, and today we're going to be playing some more Cosmeteer. Really having a lot of fun with this game. Super enjoyable. As you can see, we've changed our ship, we've upgraded it. It's looking a little bit better, a little more fiercer. we got some armor, got some shields. Our missile launcher is finally operational. And uh, if we see, there's a lot more weapons to explore. I'm hoping this game will get updated as much as, it, as they can uh, get it to be updated. And th I've actually noticed a small flaw in... Oh, uh... Uh, never mind, actually, let's undo that. Let's... Yeah, we're fine. We're totally fine. Uh, the asymmetry-ness was bugging me, but we can't physically make that. Well, actually, we can. Hold on. I'm sorry, this asymmetry thing is really bugging me. We're gonna move that back. We're gonna move, um... Hold on. gonna move that into there. Oh, right. Wait. Undo. Undo. Yeah. Nope, let's just cancel it. I'm sorry. It works. Uh, I'm sorry, the asymmetry was just bugging me. But I forgot it's because of the missile launcher, and then we might need to even move stuff around later on. So anyway, let's go. No, no more waiting. Let's just jump right into it. We're about to engage in, a, in an alien. Okay, we're about to fight it. So, uh, we're about to get into its range. Pause. Okay. So what does it have here? Wow, this is really bare bone. Uh, that's actually really tiny. So what do they have? They have, um, point defense system. Okay. Uh, they have, ooh, a standard cannon. And then they have this laser, small blaster. So let's, uh, let's target the small blaster. Let's, uh, target the standard cannon. Take out those point defense drones. And, uh, yeah, let's just, just target things. And we'll change as we, as we go. Remember, one-fourth time speed, always very important to do. We can see our ship in the top right, and we can actually see, if you look very closely, at how it's functioning, so we'll be able to know when it's working. So check out the really cool feature of the missile. So our missiles will fire, and our men will immediately begin trying to load up our uh, the missiles to make it make it look good. So at this point defense system, we'll try and uh, we'll blow up our uh, missiles, which is fine. Uh, there's not a not necessarily a problem with that. I'm again focusing on uh, weapons that will directly harm my ship first. Not all ships have a point defense uh, drone. As you can see, uh, we're not targeting the right thing. We're actually going to pause and we're going to target that first. Then we're going to target this point defense drone weapon here. And then uh, we're actually going to target that one. Go for that. And then the core itself. So as you can see, it's important to readjust how you want to be blowing things up. As you can see, now we're taking out that point defense system. And our missiles will fire again uh, when they're loaded. As you can see, we just need guys in the room to be uh, to be manning them. And again, that, that big laser cannon is going to be a bit of a problem. But fortunately, uh, some crew have been killed, so it's not quite as able to deal damage to us. And we're really in using lasers to, to make our shots. So yeah, as you can see, our missiles are not getting through uh, just because of this point defense drones. And it's firing some missiles back, but again, our shields will be able to, to handle it. So let's go ahead and target uh, its weapons now. We want to target its weapons now. We want them to shoot at us. And its core is actually exposed. Let's go ahead and target the core. We're just going to be able to really shred through it. Actually, no. We're going to keep going. We're going to go to one-time speed. We're going to wait for us to get out of combat. Then we'll pause. Uh, no, sorry. We were already paused. Now we're paused. And I'm not quite sure what I was clicking on. Hmm. Anyway. Uh, so let's, uh, now, now let's go here. I'm not quite sure what this make it so thing is talking about. I'm not sure what we were waiting for. So, we want to add in more missiles, because missiles are good. I know they, d they didn't look like they were good because of, well, the lack of damage being done. But uh, you just, you do need a fair amount. I see. Okay. So now that these missiles are put into place, we might want to move around some, uh, some storage equipment. We might want to bring our missile storage bay here. And perhaps even put another missile storage uh, right up next to it. Okay, that's going to spend 11,000 of our money. Now, of course, uh, because... Our ships can be hurt from multiple angles. We're going to want to add on a bit more armor, I think. So let's go ahead and get a nice triangle wedge there. Really uh, seal that in. Get a nice uh, triangle wedge there. 
And because we can't block the exhaust port, we'll just do, uh, let's just do some square armor. That ought to help. Uh, then again, we got to make sure our, all of our things are connected. We don't want anything to not be connected, because that would just make things a little bit more difficult. And we also ought to think about possibly adding on some more shields, or even some more rockets. Now, one thing we can do that's really cool is we can actually add on some storage. Now, I'm not going to do that yet, because uh, I'm going to actually want to go ahead and... Uh, First off, let's just make it so. Let's make so this. So we're gonna speed it up times so four so that we can function. Lock to load it. We can kind of see what our, our ship's looking like. We're saving up money. Nothing wrong with that. Let's go ahead and look at our dials. As you can see, we're low on crew. So we're gonna take a look at where we can f possibly squeeze crew in. We can get two wide bunks, and we're gonna do that. We're gonna put some bunks down. Nothing wrong with adding in the bunks. Now our crew's almost at optimal efficiency. We're going to take our, we're going to go to defenses, take our armor and move it. Now I know it's going to be in the way, but we can actually go ahead and extend that out, extend that out by one, move that out by one. Uh, we're going to go ahead and move that forward, move that forward, so our armor is a bit more defensive there. And now with room there, we're going to be able to have room for an additional bunk space, and we're a little bit more open. Now I do know we can put a bunk there, but I'm going to hold off on that, because there is another type of weapon I want us to use. I'm actually going to get rid of that going to go over to our weapons, and we're going to take a look at getting uh, some more cannons. Now, the standard cannon, which takes up four squares, will actually be placed, uh, well, how do we want to build this? Let's think about how we want to build our, uh, our lasers. Now, we can't put lasers there because it's blocking the ship. It has to go, so well, it has to, has to go somewhere where it'll fire correctly, but we can always make more missiles, which I might do, because missiles are currently the best thing that we have, but our crew is still low, so let's focus on getting our crew in first. So we've made our crew, uh, that'll be good, we have 11,000 now, uh, we can go ahead and, eh, you know what, let's, uh, let's go ahead and get the ion beam em emitter. And this is a really powerful weapon, as you can see, uh, if we put it right there, and then we connect it with some corridors, We'll be, uh, we'll be all right. Now, we will need some more crew to uh, fill that out. Oh, actually, we cannot do that. I was wrong. Let me do some choices. So this thing can work, but I have no reason to add it in. So let's just leave it at 11,000. Let's add on, since we know we'll need more crew, let's add on an extra crew anyway. Uh, as you can see, our FTL drive is uh, it's doing okay. If we want to look at our rocket fuels and FTL drive, everything will be taken with it. If you see anything in the red here, uh, it will not necessarily. Okay, so, as we can see, we now have uh, a little bit of a stronger ship since we have double missiles, more crews, everything's efficiently being manned. So let's go ahead and zoom way out, take a look at, yeah, let's go after that guy. Let's just go after him, it'll be great. Fly in and uh, get some uh, shooting done. Again, I like to do it at times four speed just so we can really see what we're dealing with. Okay, what do we got here? We got a small laser blaster, start mall. Oh, really easy. Okay, we target this, then we target this, then we target the hull. Bring it down to one quarter times speed so we can manage our ship if needed, depending on damage that we take. So as you can see from up there, our missiles have already fired. It does not have any points of defense drone, so I hope to show you just how devastating these missiles can be when they don't have a point defense drone. Now, this is a fairly small ship, though, so uh, it, 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 I completely would under, understand if we're able to kill a ship before the missiles hit, but there, there we go. The, the ship is destroyed. We've made some money. Now we will be able to go ahead and do some more upgrades to our ship and just make slowly make our ship better and better as, as time moves on. And again, you're seeing there's a lack of crew being manned. I do think we might need just more crew uh, to get closer. It might move this armor outward. Anyway, let's go into our ship builder and talk about building our ship. But uh, we're going to save that for next time because uh, we actually are, in fact, running out of time. So uh, once again, uh, I'm El Worfi. Thank you so much for watching this series so far. And uh, I, I'll see you guys next time. Have a nice day, guys.